which is what rich people do, by the way. They, yeah. <laughs> that's how rich people get rich. Is Today I'm hoping to bring you some motivation, especially if you are on your debt-free journey. I'm going to be teaming up with my girl Sarah from Budget Girl. You guys know I love Sarah. And we're going to be sharing some things that we're able to do now that we are debt-free. And so many of you have been on a debt-free journey. Trust me, I have been there. I have gone from living paycheck to paycheck to paying off all of my debt. And now I share all of the things that we've learned along the way and all of the money lessons and everything. So if you're new to Freedom in a Budget, coming over from Sarah's channel, I hope they subscribe, join the family. I put out a couple videos a week on motivation and things that can teach you about money. So I hope that you join the YouTube Freedom in a Budget family. So like I said, I have paid off all my student loans and that process, it sucked. Let's be honest, it was not fun. It was long, it was hard. And there were times where I didn't know if we could do it. I didn't know if we could continue on this journey. But I looked to people that inspired me and I looked to people that were in the race with me and that were a little bit farther ahead of me. And I really used that to, as motivation to get out of debt, to, to stay motivated. So Sarah and I, we both paid off our debt and we are able to do some really, really fun things now that we're debt free. So we hope that this video is just something that inspires you and and it gets you, gets you excited about the future. And comment down below, what is something that you cannot wait to do when you are debt free? I would love to hear from you. And that would just be so fun, so inspired to just to get dreaming. And let me know down below in the comments, what's something that you want to do when you're debt free? Before we get into the video, scroll down just a little bit and hit the like button. It really helps the video with the YouTube algorithm. After you watch this video, head over to Sarah's channel. I'll have it linked down below. And she is doing a video that I am in as well of things that, that we do differently now that we're debt free. And it's really cool just to see how we do life differently now that we're debt free. We are doing some really, really fun and exciting things. So go check out Sarah's video as well. All right, guys, we are here at FinCon with Sarah from Budget Girl. I'm so excited. Me too. So, <laughs> as you guys know, we are both debt free, which is absolutely amazing. And we're starting to get into some really, really fun parts of life and fun things that we're able to do now that we're debt free. And so, we are both dreamers. If you guys didn't know already, we are big, big dreamers. And so, we just want to talk about what are things that we're moving into. What are some of the things that you are so excited to get into now that you're debt free? You had that extra money. Go. What does debt free future look like? Yeah. Debt free future. So, short term, I am saving for kind of the next phase of my money journey, which is a multifamily property where I will house hack it. So, so cool. the plan is essentially to purchase a duplex or maybe a threeplex and move into one of the units, rent out the other two and use the rented income to pay my mortgage for me, essentially eliminating housing costs. That's crazy. Which would obviously open up a big yeah. portion of my income. And yeah, there's all the stuff about, you know, repairs and stuff like that, but I'm financially mm -hmm. prepared for those as well. So that's a big next step yeah. as far as like business goals and finance mm -hmm. goals. It's a whole other stream of income yeah. that I'm getting into. Mm -hmm. And multiple streams of income are so important. Like we they have are. our day job, we have our, you know, our YouTube channel business and everything. And like, this is a whole nother stream for you. Like that's incredible. It is a third one. And I didn't think that would be possible at yeah. all. I didn't know I'd ever buy a house. Yeah. That's cool. And it, one for me is just getting into that investing deeper. I mean, you guys have seen on my channel with Robin Hood and different things that we're starting to invest, but really like dig into that, really learn more and just have that money to, I don't want to say play with it, but kind of, you know, it's really fun mm -hmm. buying socks and, and different things like that and just learning that whole realm and really getting into our retirement and everything. It's, oh, it's yeah. so cool. So I also really want to do some mm -hmm. more exploratory investing. So I, right now I'm pretty set. I'm contributing a large amount to my retirement. I'm committing, committing a large amount to very safe index funds and some tracks that are yeah. all but assured unless the world explodes. So I will be fine. But I've now found that I have a little extra money to play with yep. that I can use to maybe do some mm -hmm. more experimental stuff. So I... Single stocks are not my favorite, but mm -hmm. I could play a little bit with yeah. those. Um, just see what opportunities might come up for me to invest and maybe grow income outside of the very safe stuff. Yeah. In a way that won't 
affect me or hurt me. I'm right. not gambling with my retirement here. This is some extra money that I've been able to find to mm -hmm. potentially more quickly grow well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, which is what rich people do, by the way. They yeah. <laughs> that's how rich people get rich is they yeah. have this money to throw at the wall and see what sticks and if a couple little things fail, that's fine. Yep. They have some stuff that goes really crazy. So, yeah. it's strange to be thinking of myself yeah. in that way, but there's also very little risk there because I'm set otherwise. Yeah. That's crazy. Another one for me is traveling more and one of like my bucket bucket list items. I don't know how much I've talked about it on my channel, but you guys know that I sponsor Leandro from El Salvador is mm -hmm. being able to meet a child that we sponsor and I meet that a child that we've been pouring into their life financially and you know writing letters and stuff, but able to go to that country and meet them. Like that had just been a dream of mine since I was a little kid and we used to sp sponsor children when I was a child. And so that is just something that we are so looking forward to. I think that's, able to do. I think that's just going to be the coolest thing on the yeah. planet mm -hmm. and that he'll finally get to meet you guys yeah. and you guys will finally get to meet him. I think you're going to cry the whole time though. Oh, I'm sure. I'll be a basket case. Yeah. Basket case. But that's really amazing. And yeah. I love that you do that kind of like exploratory kind mm -hmm. of endless giving. You have a fun set aside where... Yeah, my spontaneous giving. Yeah, fun. Where if you feel led, you just Skip. have a place to give and it doesn't hurt you financially. Yeah. It's the extra money that we and have now. And it's not that like, oh, should we, can we fit in the butter? Are we going to sacrifice? Like, it's already there. Like, the money's there. Just write a check. Just, just a bucket. Just give the money. It's, it's even meant to be used. So you're yeah. looking out for places to give. Yes. I have a I have a little bitty fun for that, too. Yeah. And it's, it's really fun to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are some other ones of yours? So hopefully in addition to a house, I'll be uh, cash flowing a wedding one day. Woo! Jacob. <laughs> Let's get a ring on the finger. <laughs> ring, come on. Uh, so that would be fun. Yeah. I mean, it's, we've talked about it. Okay. A little okay. bit. Uh, what about you and like your marriage and stuff? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully some kids, not that the house is um, and everything. So mm -hmm. we're talking about talking about kids that's a pretty expensive decision it is. you know a wedding is like a one-time thing kids is next 18 years <laughs> oh yeah you gotta commit some funds to that like this yes <laughs> um so that's a pretty big future yeah. place where you're going to be spending yeah. money how much more confident do you feel now about being prepared financially for kids yeah uh, than you did maybe like three years ago when you were absolutely in debt? i have you know friends that have gotten pregnant and you know, so I had kids and it's like, holy crap, how are we going to afford this? What are we going to do? And now it's, for us, it's like, you know, it'll be more of a blessing for us and we can be a blessing for that child and not have that additional financial stress on top of everything, you know. Having kids is already stressful enough, you know, that we want to really enjoy that process, enjoy them. So financially, this isn't going to be a burden on your life no. at all. You're completely and totally prepared for kids. Yeah. That's really exciting. Emotionally, I don't know so much. Jamie's a little nervous still, but <laughs> it, it, it'll be okay. <laughs> what about more cats? Uh, I don't know. Jamie's stuck at two. Maybe dogs. We want some dogs. Okay, yeah. I got the new dog, Maggie. Yes. Who looks like a dog emoji. I'll make Kelly put up a picture of her because I want will, everyone to see Maggie. We will have Maggie. Yes. So, yeah. Those are some really big things we have planned for the future that I couldn't anticipate. Yeah. Back when I was in debt, I couldn't even dream no. about that back no. when I was in debt. I essentially, I don't know if you feel this way or not, but I don't really worry about money anymore. No, mm -mm. no, it's not a stress, especially with, you know, stresses that come up in your life, like a car breaking down or something like that. That's already such a stressful situation enough that you have to deal with this car on 95 with cars going by. You don't want to have to worry about the, the money stress as well. So many people are like, it's an emergency, but then a financial emergency as well. Things like that that come up, it's not a financial emergency. Yeah. You just have to deal with that situation at hand, but the money, it's okay. We have emergency funds. A nail in my tire used to ruin my month. Oh my like, gosh. It was, it was not just an inconvenience. It was a, how the heck am I going to pay for this? Yeah. And now... That sucks, but... Yeah, it, it it's, yeah it's inconvenient, but it's not life-ending, and... The, yeah. the mental space that I have now for new things mm -hmm. is yeah. so big when I don't necessarily have to worry about not being able to retire, not being able to like pay rent, not being able to yeah. do the things that I want to do. It's such a blessing. Yeah. I didn't have the mental space before yeah. to do that. Mm -hmm. Now I can dream. Yeah. Dreaming is so cool. 
so awesome. Maybe you guys could tell us your money dreams in yes. the comments down please, below. Please, please, please. Let us know your money dreams down below. Yeah. And if you're still in kind of the debt-free journey and you don't quite have the bandwidth for big money dreams, tell us that you are your dream is becoming debt-free. Yeah. Because we want to root for you on there. We've yeah, been there. Guys. We remember it. Not fondly, but we remember it <laughs> and how important but stressful that was. Yeah. But keeping that goal, keeping that why in front of you, so important. Yeah. You know, whether you're wise to have kids, you're wise to buy a house, you're wise to have a retirement. You know, maybe your parents or your grandparents didn't have a retirement and make that your why. That's so important. Maybe your why is being able to take care of your parents who yeah. are so financially stable or your kids. Yeah. Or have 10 cats. That. <laughs> Please don't get 10 cats. <laughs> Jamie will stop her. I don't have to worry about that. So. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Budget Girl. For Anytime. Being I love so much fun. Yes. Guys, check out all of her information below. She has an awesome channel, awesome blog. She is killing it. She's amazing. So go check her out. You don't know her, but I'm sure you do. Yes. Yes. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. It's always fun to hang out with you. It is. We have yes. too much fun. Too get in much trouble. Fun. But, yeah. yeah, we're in trouble right now. We're over time. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye, guys. All right, guys. That was so much fun. I absolutely love hanging out with Sarah. Every second I get with Sarah, it is just so much fun. It's such a joy. She is awesome. And next up is how I save 56% of my income. It's crazy. Go check that out next.